This is my pity party. I'm gonna cry all night and I'll flip the bird at the guys. Nah, that ain't going nowhere. Okay. Thanks, John. Okay, okay let course. me let me tighten it I even further. Say. Yeah. <laughs> Sandy, <laughs> Sandy, I love you. <laughs> Starbucks. It is uh, around 6, 6.30. We're going to move out. Glenn with his Road King. Look at this beautiful machine. Mad Max all rigged up with uh, the Rick Rack. John loves that Rick Rack. I had it in the bag. I took it out. Nadal CVO. Look at that. 117. He's probably going to trade it in for a new CVO soon. <laughs> I'm kidding. Ah, uh, Fast Johnny. Look at that. Look at that. And Grey Ghost. They're all ready for the week they're going to be away. Obviously, I told you already, I'm not going to be going. I'll be riding with them only today. So I don't have all my tour pack or my sleeping bag or all the gear or a set of extra underwear. But we're going to be heading out, meeting up about an hour north of here, meeting us some... Uh, two more guys are going to be Steve and the name of your friend from Canada. From Canada. It's coming from Canada. Danny. Danny, Danny from Canada is coming Danny to meet us. Ferrari. Danny Ferrari is meeting us. And from there, we're going to continue up to Lake George and eastbound towards uh, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine. Rolling out. Enjoy the ride. Weather is great. <clears throat> Not cold at all. I don't know exactly how much it is. What's the temperature? But it's... Uh, I'm only with uh, one t-shirt and my Beyond Riders flannel. Look at John's uh, light setup from the back. I like this better than what he had before. I mean, what he had before was nice and modern, but it didn't fit the look of the class, the classic look of Harley, the bike. This is so classic, you know, simple, um, elliptic or circle taillights and a few strips of lighting. Look how nice it's lit up at this uh, time of the day. No, there's no sunlight, so you can see how nice it is. Just wanted to show you, I really like it. Look at Nadal's lights, lit from the back, the CVO. Okay, compare that to John's. And then look at Joe's over there with the fast Johnny. You see just one tail light. I mean, yeah, just one tail light. That's Joe's setup. Okay, I think that's stock. Now I'll show you Glenn's. This is Glenn's setup. I th it looks like Custom Dynamics. It looks still like the tubes, the tubing that they have in their tail lights. And I think also the, the saddleback lights as well. That's it, just wanted to show you. I thought it was great uh, conditions for that. Peace. 
while we're covering these miles towards Lake George, let me tell you what I packed for this trip or what I'm, uh, what gear I'm wearing right now. I'm, obviously, I didn't go for, I'm not going overnight, so I didn't, none of my uh, essentials for uh, sleeping. But what the gear I'm wearing right now, Indy Ridge, uh, I don't know their name, but they're perforated, so you can see they've got like holes and now uh, there's a lot of air coming in and at this time of year it's great because it's not you know it's not cold and uh they're great these are beyond rider jeans obviously they're kevlar lined so there's a uh, kevlar lining in the impact areas all the dangerous areas in the knees and the hips and the butt and in the front and additionally there's uh, inserts over here for pads for impact pads I didn't take them I didn't take them on this ride and there's also uh, impact uh, I mean there's also inserts for the hip to put uh, hip uh, pads upper body I'm rocking uh, my uh, Beyond Riders flannel uh, it's Kevlar lined completely all around and gloves I have the Indy Ridge Sporty gloves, I think they're called. They're also nice and uh, vented, so uh, nothing is too warm. Additionally, I'm sitting on my new Saddleman, Saddleman step-up seat, and uh, I'm still in the break-in break -in period of the 1,000 or 1,500 miles. So it's the first time on a long, uh, long journey with uh, with this seat. So at the end of the seat, uh, at the end of this ride, I'll tell you how I feel. Obviously, you know I can't really judge because I'm still in the break-in period. And for that reason, by the way, I actually got silly. I call it grown-up diapers. The guys make fun of it. We all, like most of us, took it for this long journey. Something that I got on Amazon. It's uh, like underwear that has padding on it like bicycle uh, you know the, the sport bicycle riders wear those funny underwear with padding so i have that on me i'm not going to show you it feels good to ride again i have not been on the bike for the last i think three weeks ever since we moved we moved two days after that we the whole family all four kids my wife and myself and little pico and uh, my son's girlfriend, my daughter's boyfriend, all hopped in and into a Suburban. Oh man, Suburban is a beautiful vehicle. And we rode, did a road trip to, to Niagara Falls. That was great. We crossed to Canada. We, we saw it from the Canadian side, from the American side. Spent there like three days road trip. That was lots of fun. We came back the next day. I was uh, on my way to Japan with my daughter, my little one. So I was I was off the bike for the last pretty much three weeks. I was like a week in Japan, came back, and finally, you know, riding again, and it it feels great. And I just I just took so much time off. I can't, I couldn't uh, spare get extra time to go, you know, to this main trip. We're going to be there for about a week. Uh, the, uh, John and the guys got a, a nice house, Airbnb, and they're gonna satellite the, uh, you know, vacation. Like stay at stay at the hotel, like stay at the B&B, Airbnb, at the house, and go out for the day for a ride, come back, then the next day a different destination. So it's it's pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, I'm gonna miss that. Well, next time maybe. And uh, so I'll, I'll just spend time with them right now, just riding a little bit, spending the day with them. Eventually I'm gonna turn around, go back home, ride by myself. But it feels good to be back on the bike again. Uh, one of the stops, we've been riding for an hour. I love New York over here. I'm gonna stop probably for coffee, maybe breakfast. We covered about two hours, three hours riding. Steve, Steve's bike yesterday, his Harley, uh, got messed up at the dealership, uh, replaced tires, there's a wobble above 80 miles per hour, not quite sure what it's all about, so he had to come with the Beamer. Look at that, it sounds like a sewing machine. It sounds literally like a sewing machine. 
How dare you come with that bike? Hey, how you doing? Hey, Vinny, that's Sandy. What's up? Oh, well, you get get your attention, Vinny. Oh, Don't yeah. worry. <laughs> how you doing? Nice to meet you. Your friend? That's your friend? I'm just looking at uh, my Sawiki Speed exhaust. Look at the nice color already. It's really got to that bronze. Very close to the rims. Look at it. Look at it. How nice. That purplish tint at the hot spots. I'm not someone you should cheat on Cause when I come back, I come back strong Raise your glass to the sky Let's toast to that All these people can stare I don't care about that This is my pain Glenn is hearing a noise. We had to pull over on the highway, no choice. And we're seeing that apparently one of his, oh shit, the, the caliper, his rear brake caliper, one bolt is out. Guess we're gonna have to stop at uh, Lake George at uh, Harley Davidson over there. One of his bolts that holds a caliper is is gone that's what's uh, that was making a, a huge a loud very loud noise we have to stop on the side oh you see this one that one is missing Oh, and it's rattling. Yep. So where do we stop? That's that's what's nice about Harley. Uh, dealerships spread out all over the country. A lot of a lot of them are closed on Monday. Oh, it's Monday, right? I'm gonna have to try and loosen it. I'm gonna have to pick it up and then tighten it because I don't know if you're touching, you're on the road or not. Harley Davidson dealership, nine miles from here. So that's where we're heading out. We uh, tighten, the guys tighten the bolt, not me, <laughs> John and Glenn tighten the front bolt. That's still intact, still in place. Uh, Glenn is avoiding the rear brake, obviously. Now we're gonna ride to Harley, the nearby and get that uh, fixed and then we'll continue. We're just an hour away from uh, Lake George, but we have to stop obviously to fix the brake. As I was saying, always good that uh, there's Harley dealerships spread out the, uh, along the country, all, all over the country. So there's always a, a fix. Harley Davidson, Eagle Rider, Troy. Okay, let's uh, see if they can Help uh, Glenn, help us, because <laughs> we're going to need that bolt to continue. Actually, let me stop over here somewhere. Okay, that's part of the trip. It's not the destination, it's the journey. And this is the journey. Ready? 56. The same bike. Very nice. 46 plus what? DMV and tax. No, no prep and free? 
46. So what's the, out the door? For what's just 46 a, plus DMV plus whatever your taxes so are. Everybody county you live in. 50 out the door, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I didn't think so. It's like a television screen. Show me what you got there. Right. I got the bolt oh, and I got like tight. Okay, so we're going to do a fix ourselves. So now we'll pull out. Okay. <laughs> Look at this uh, beautiful dealership. Really nice log cabin kind of style, all wood. What are you buying? I need a you cargo. Dropped, you lost something. You dropped. What's that? Compressor. that was my compressor. Where, where would you? Where'd you keep it? We pulled it out to get my tools, oh, and I, I put you. it on top next to his helmet. Oh, I got you. So that's the last. Uh, yeah, that's the last thing I'm worried about right now. Right now, yeah. I okay. could always buy another pump. I'm gonna take this jacket off. Put a drop on there. No, no, here. Let me let me see that. Strength. <laughs> you see him lift up 50 pound dumbbells like they were fucking things. <laughs> okay. Thanks, John. Okay, okay let me course. let me tighten it Hang even further. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy, I love you. <laughs> You're always good for a fucking laugh. Get online, man. Everybody loves me. Easy. Steve don't love you. <laughs> I don't know why he did that. Why he didn't go over here. Oh, we're out of here. Troy Howley Davidson. About another hour about to Lake George. Small setback. Worked out okay. it up for a second there. I still claim that I'm a faster bike, but we never tested it out again after the big surprise. if I'm going to continue with them or not. Definitely need to stop for some breakfast. here at Lake George picked up Danny Ferrari that came from Toronto all the way seven and a half hour ride yesterday and he's gonna be riding with the guys to Maine uh, I'll be continuing with them about going eastbound now towards uh, New Hampshire I'm gonna be riding with them for about an hour and then I'll head back uh, down south Danny has a, a street glide ST, really built up nicely. I think John did a video about his bike. It's got an HPI exhaust, a Krauss setup in the front, Olin's in the back, I see. Really nicely built. And Fast Johnny, look at that. I love the color. That color is so nice.
And it's just been looking at the sky. Will that rain get us? Will we be caught in rain? Nobody wants that. Everybody keeps pointing up in the air at the sky, <laughs> at the clouds. Well, I did bring my rain gear with me, but who wants to get dressed up in, in rain gear now? For bridge, let's see where, what, what, I don't know what river it is. Oh shit, it's starting to rain. <laughs> oh shit. I'm getting a condensed, I'm getting a condensed version of a road trip. In one day we got uh, malfunctions, we had to stop at a Harley dealership to get something fixed. We got rain, um, and we're late. So, a classic road trip. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, I had a road construction and I put the GPS on home. Um, I said goodbye to everybody. Uh, the minute we get, to, we're stuck in rain anyway. The minute uh, the GPS is going to tell me to turn around, that's when I turn back. <laughs> Everybody's geared with rain gear. We should be. It's a, it's one specific cloud that's uh, covering us, and uh, once we're out of it, it, should be clear, and I'll head back home. It says it's three and a half hours, like 210 miles from here. So it's probably three, four hours. To the right, they continue. They have six or seven hours ahead of them. I have four. I'll get you a few more views from the way. <laughs> now <laughs> and before. I'm on my way back. It's taking me through the same area. GPS. Uh, I put the GPS on no freeways, no highways, and I'm just touring the back roads over here until I get tired. Until I get tired, and then I'll then I'll switch back to uh, you know freeways and hit uh, the highways. But for now, this is beautiful. It's a beautiful area. It's uh, Adirondack uh, area, Arcadia National Park, the whole area. they're perforated and it was raining so it's uh it's drying up now so are my gloves but they're almost dry but my boots are still uh, and the socks inside are still drying up keep keep uh, surprising and are delightful one path to another twisty stop signs 45 55 endless pastures Fields, cornfields, every once in a while a few trees, a farm here and there. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Town of Fort Edward. Look at the look at the view to the right. Look at the left. Farmland. Look how pretty.
Rock in Albany. It's pretty. Stopped on the way to fill up some uh, essential gas, and I'm in the middle of nowhere. How do you know we're in the when you're in the middle of nowhere? When your means of transportation are a little uh, moped. Ruckus. Ruckus is the way to get go down to the store and buy yourself to buy yourself some supplies. What do you think? You're the coolest guy in the parking lot, and then yeah, this guy this. shows up. What do you think? You're the coolest guy in the parking lot, and then yeah, this guy this. shows up. That's it, guys. I'm back home. Around 450 miles today. It was a great day. Fun hanging out with the guys. Now I'm gonna do the unthinkable and actually wash my bike. Yeah, that happens every every other full, actually once in a year maybe. But I'm gonna do that right now. I'm Sandy, oh wait a minute. Hope you enjoy this one guys. I'm Sandy and you're watching Holy Shift. Till the next video guys, peace out. Mission complete. Wasn't gonna bore you with my uh, cleaning. I raised the bike. Scrubbed it with uh, turtle wax, dried it up with my uh, DeWalt leaf blower, and uh, once I was uh, it was completely dry, I went ahead and put ceramic spray coating. I used that just to protect, just protect. I've seen it on Project Farm, Farm Project. You know that guy that checks uh, different compares. This was like number one. I got it on Amazon. It's great. I use it. It's also like a wet, uh, a dry wash, but I use it as a, as a coating for protection. It really, really works. So that's what I coated even after the bike was completely dry. That's it, guys. Peace out. Yeah.